Okay. I'm going to show you something here. I got it radio shot. Uh, they call it a barrier strip. I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. And uh, we're going to put that on here. i tell you what. I got, see these, the strips. These bus leads, bus uh, tabs. This is a negative, and it's it starts out um, on top of the strip, so that's how I know it's negative. And this one here, it, it comes out the bottom. See how it's coming out the bottom right there? And it comes over here, and I got it soldered in to this. But in the next video, I'll show you how to solder those on there. And uh, let's see. This is going to be scary with this tripod. I sure hope it don't fall down. Does it could be the end of this camera? I, you guys are probably hoping. Anyway, see that there's what it looks like. You guys see that? We're going to put this right, right here. Boy, this tripod, it wants to collapse. I'm just going to let it go down. Alright, hopefully you guys can see that. I got my trusty black and decker drill bits. I'm going to start out with a pretty small drill bit. Check that up. And uh, I'm going to put it on this side over here to get it started. Turn them. Let's see if I want it right there. Okay, I got a hole in there and I'll change over to a bigger drill bit. bigger. That's a, that'll be alright. We'll make that hole bigger. place that sells large quantities of them. You gotta buy quite a bit. They go a lot cheaper that way in the long run. And you can buy bolts single and you end up paying a lot. Too much. You know what? That don't fit. 
We're gonna have to go one more. One more size. I'm making my holes a little bigger than this thing come with. I don't think that hurts anything. Okay, I got one bolt in, and I'm going to go ahead and put a nut, nut on it, and I pushed it in the wrong direction. You know, I think I got a whole deal of washer somewhere for these. I don't know what I did with them was that I did and I don't really want that to I'd rather have this smooth side to the outside turn it around you can always cut this off later with a Dremel or something see I buy all my stuff in bulk and I don't I get some of my stuff at Lowe's but we have this place called Fast and all. Uh, you might have one too. I don't know. That's a cheap place to get them. I mean, you got to buy a lot of them, but you always got them after that. If you're gonna make stuff, it's just good to have a lot of them. That way you don't have to pay too much to buy in bulk. Start down there pretty good. I need a screwdriver or something. Okay, I got one in place. I only take a couple and hold it on here, probably. I don't want to be crooked. Alright, for the sake of making this video too long, 
I'm going to cut you all off. But next time I'll, I'll solder the wires on. Thanks for watching.